Welcome back, guys, to a Final Fantasy talk with Mage Masher 22. This is going to be part two. Uh, I've decided to split this video up as uh, we had a little quick interruption. So, um, back at it again. Hi, welcome. Um, Whoa. Whoa. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> um, I'm here. He's, he's still here. He hasn't left yet. Sorry about that, guys. The, uh, the parcel came, so I had to go get it. Imagine getting a parcel. Huh? I know. <laughs> it's actually, it's my uh, I hate J Jammer uh, mug that I had made, so I'm really happy it's arrived. Yeah, yeah. with my face on it, crossed out. Uh, yeah, no, it's your face, but like, uh, as if you've been punched many times. Just imagine that. Then oh, I, I, I do frequently. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, anyway, so back to the video. Yeah, thanks, buddy. Love you too. Um, yeah, that's all right. Uh, right, where were we? So we were talking about Final Fantasy XI last. Um, yes. Let's jump into... And, I have to th and again, I'm going to thank you for this again. So get ready for it. Brace yourself. Whoa, whoa. Uh, well, I'll, I'll explain first. Final Fantasy XII. I completely missed Final Fantasy XII. I don't know why. I couldn't even tell you why I missed XII. Um... I, yeah, that's strange, because you're obviously a, a big Final Fantasy fan. Right. Uh, I don't know. I just went for a fate, because I, I, I was definitely, by this point, I was well I was well into my teens. So mm -hmm. I just went through a phase where no, I wasn't necessarily not playing Final Fantasy anymore, because I'd still be you know going through 7, 8, 9, 10, whatever. But for some reason, I just kind of... I wasn't interested. I, I don't know. It was a weird phase. And I'm, mm -hmm. I, I'm gutted that I missed. I, I didn't play 12. Because it wasn't until, uh, again, yourself, uh, when the Zodiac Age came out. <clears throat> yeah. Um, which was, God, when was that? That was even, that was a while ago, that right? That was like five years ago, nearly. Five years ago. Um, and the thing is, I bought, because I still have, well, I, I, I'm a bit of a collector myself, so I've, I've got all my Sony consoles from the PS1 all the way to the PS5, so I like to That's dabble. Cool. In, yeah. in old games and I decided to go to CEX if you don't know what CEX is it's our kind of game stop if you will sex kind shop. of they went to a sex shop I went to a sex shop guys and bought video games um so I decided to buy Final Fantasy 12 for the PS2 because I didn't know about the Zodiac Age at this point <laughs> and I'm, I'm not kidding you when I say it was probably about a week later I heard Mage talking about the Zodiac Age on a, on a stream or a video or something Damn. like that and I was like <laughs> are you shitting me I mean, you probably didn't spend too much money. No, on it, I didn't. Least. I think it was about six quid. So yeah, yeah. I was like, I can't complain. Um, but I started to play a little bit of Twelve on the PS2, and I was like, oh, this is kind of cool. And then obviously yourself mm. mentioned the Zodiac Age, and I was like, okay, well, you know what? I'm going to wait. I'm going to hold off. And I'll tell you what. Uh, hands down, Final Fantasy Twelve is my third favorite Final Fantasy. Of oh all time. wow, you liked it that much? Yeah, I I was yeah. blown away. It did things different that I didn't expect to enjoy, but I did. Mm -hmm. um, and, mm -hmm. you know, your series was very, very long, but I... I it's I, a long game. Yeah, yeah. I enjoyed it because I just the variety of things to do in 12. Like, the hunts are just so much fun. Um, Honestly, I think 12 is, is absolutely underrated. And yeah, a lot of people at the time, I don't think, liked 12. I think... Uh, you know, it had its fans. I was one of them, but I think a lot of people either, again, like you, missed out on it completely yeah. or didn't really take to it that much. And I think only now, especially with the Zodiac uh, edition coming out, I think 12 is, is finally starting to get the love that I think it deserves. Yeah, and I'm glad it is because, damn, I would have loved it. It's, as a it's kid. bloody brilliant, yeah. Um, I remember looking forward to 12 coming out uh, when I was in high school. Yes. I <laughs> I was actually counting down the days in my... Because, you know, you have, like, your school diary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I actually would count down how many days left uh, to its release. But I was counting down to the North American release because, as we've previously established, I had a PS2 that could play American games. Oh, yes, of course. So I was going to order it from the U.S., and I did. Uh, unfortunately, it didn't arrive. Of course, uh, it didn't. <laughs> when I wanted it, it was still. It. I think it got stuck in customs, wow. and I was distraught. So I ended up having to wait an extra like two weeks before it arrived. But that was still quite a. That was like a couple of months before it would be released over here. Yeah. So I still got to play it early. I 
um, was terribly sick, uh, oh. so I couldn't go to school. Mate, you were sick. Damn... Sorry. Oh, I was. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> this this was actually not a real uh, illness, but um. Oh, one of those, right? <laughs> it, was, it was. I was terribly sick. <laughs> Mage, Mage did well in school, guys. All right. Uh, Mage I, went to school. I did actually do okay, but I absolutely was not there for <laughs> a good chunk of 2006, uh, thanks to Final Fantasy XII. Um, uh, and, yeah, if I'm if I'm right in incredible. thinking, uh, I might I might have got this wrong, but I'm pretty sure. Did you not watch a ton of Japanese playthrough of it is. twelve I before did. it came it's out? Crazy that you remember that. Yeah. Um, it was again. YouTube was quite new. Yes. And it only yeah it was it was maybe about a year old by the time I started watching it, and there were videos of the Japanese version of Final Fantasy XII, just gameplay of yeah. it on YouTube. And because I was just so excited for it to come out, you know, I'd, I'd been on the official website nearly every day, just looking at screenshots, screenshots. And all that stuff. Uh, and so I just, that was my first experience on YouTube, was just watching those videos of Final Fantasy XII oh, and just being God. like, oh my God, that looks amazing. Oh, 12, man. Yeah, definitely... I'm glad I played it sooner. Well, later. What well, later? I, should I mean, say. better late than never. You yeah, know? yeah. Uh, I think a lot of people gave Twelve a chance with the Zodiac Age, and I think it's gained a lot of new fans, which is good because it deserves it. It's it's everything that people complained Thirteen wasn't. Right. And yet they would still say, "Oh, I've not played Twelve, and I'm like, "Well, okay, maybe you should do. Give it a go. <laughs> maybe yeah. You should play Twelve. Um. Because what's that? There was some slight differences, right, from the Zodiac Age to the original. Like they changed some stuff. Yeah, the, there was. Um, I mean, the 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 story's the same. You know, characters are the same, but they basically made the Zodiac Age uh, a completely different kind of progression system. Because I think you had, uh, you had you could choose two jobs, right, instead of one. Yeah, you had jobs. It was more kind of had a classical Final Fantasy feel to it whereas the original 12 was more like final fantasy 10 where you could kind of make everyone the same right yes eventually uh the license board in the original 12 was just kind of do whatever you want right um but the, yeah the zodiac age made it much more focused every character had a specific role and i think you're either going to like that or you know it, some people still prefer the original 12 some people prefer the zodiac age personally i can't really choose between the two I liked them both. Uh, yeah. Different approaches to the game. Uh, I will say the Zodiac Age was probably easier than the original 12. Oh, okay. But, Interesting. But other than that, um, I really liked the additions uh, that the Zodiac Age brought. Um, and little tweaks to item placements and stuff like that as well. Because they kind of brought in uh, the kind of MMO battle yeah, style, 12? right? I think one of the reasons I enjoyed 12 so much back when it first came out is because I had played 11 a lot and right. 12 felt like a single player MMO in a lot of ways the way that it you know it had these huge open zones and uh, enemies appeared on the world map in front of you there was no random encounters anymore it was yeah. it was like playing 11 but with an actual proper single player story and characters and that was just like yes please i would like some of that <laughs> which is interesting that you say that because um i'd like to know your opinion on uh single final fantasy compared to an mmo what you know and obviously oh, very you like both yeah. but yeah they're very different beasts yeah very different beasts i am a huge fan of both i would say that <sighs> The problem with the online ones, 11 and 14, is they require a lot more time. Right. A lot more time to invest in to really get your money's worth and to really see what the game has to offer. Yeah. Whereas a single player game is a lot more condensed and easily digestible. So it really, it really is, you know, very different, but at the same time, it's Final Fantasy. They both give me a lot. I just, I wish I had more time to play the online ones. Yeah, because I, I suppose the problem with the online uh, Final Fantasies is they're they're always being updated, so there's always they're always changing content. They're always evolving. Yeah, yeah, and um, if you don't play for a while, you go back to it and you're like, oh wow, so many things have changed. I don't know what this does anymore. I don't know 
what this fight's about, you know? Um, yeah. And it can be daunting. It can be overwhelming. But um, at the same time, you, <laughs> the fact that there is so much new stuff all the time means, you know, you're very rarely going to get bored. Right, uh, yeah. And I think that's great. I think that's... Yeah, yeah. So, again, pros and cons for both. Absolutely. Um, now, if I'm right, you've you've platinumed Final Fantasy XII, right? I have. Uh, very recently. Recently, yeah. That, yeah. Uh, which I think is cool. I, I, that's going to take me a while, I think, if I ever it, decide it, to. It is, a, it is time consuming. <laughs> it is very time consuming. Um, so, Final Fantasy XII, yeah. Uh, I, I, again, I'm gutted I missed out, but I'm glad I've played it now. Because... I'm glad you, you finally got around to it. Yeah, absolutely. And the Def fact that it's like your third favourite speaks volumes. Yeah, for top three for me. how good it is. Top three. Um, now, here's where who's I... Your who's your favourite character in twelve? sorry? Who's oh, your favourite character? Uh, in twelve? Oh, God. Oh, God, this is hard. Um, I'm going to have to say Balthier. Yeah, yep. It yep. was a it was a toss up between <laughs> Balthia and Barsh. I love them both. Yeah, um, I like them both. Uh, I I apart. I mean, I give Van a lot of crap and Pinello for the role in the story is quite minimum, uh, minimal. Yeah, uh, compared to the others, but like, yeah, the, the twelve has a very strong cast still. Here's the uh, thing. Just, just yeah, go on. Yeah, here's the thing about twelve, and I I, I <laughs> I've I've watched your playthrough probably a couple of times. Um, oh, God. If I ever play 12, I can't see these characters in other job roles. It, it, it I can't, it just, no. <laughs> the mm -hmm. ones that you picked in your playthrough, I'm like, yeah, it makes sense. <laughs> if I see Fran with a with a sword, I'm like, no, that's just, it doesn't look right. It just, yeah, I can't yeah, yeah. do that. So if I ever do 12, yeah. they're probably going to have similar roles, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, again, though, that's what's so good about Final Fantasy 12, either version, is you can really play them so many different ways you know you can yeah. make Balthier a white mage if you wanted to or you know vice versa it's just ah uh, so many options um what is i mean this might be a silly question um what is the final fantasy that you have played the most times i, I probably know but if i'm wrong please correct me or, or you mean <clears throat> in terms of total hours played or just how many times i've beaten it yeah just yeah just replayability like just replaying it uh, okay, it's 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 nine. Yeah, I <laughs> it is so. absolutely nine. <laughs> Although yeah. I would say eight and ten. Okay, might be closer than you might think. Um, but yeah, no, it's 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 without a doubt one hundred percent nine. Do you yeah. play Do you play Final Fantasy a lot in your spare time? Because I've always wondered this. Um, I. Do you ever just sit down, chill, and be like, okay, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna. I play try some. to go through one at least one a year. Okay, cool. Um, whether it be replay one or you know whether a new one comes out or whatever. Yeah. Uh, I I tend to. I think most years I've ended up replaying at least one of them. Yeah. Okay, that's cool. And may maybe not even beat them, but play a good chunk of them at least. Yeah, of know? course. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm the same. Uh, d I will say Final Fantasy is definitely my go-to game when I'm sick. Uh, mm. Especially mm. Uh, the you know the older ones seven eight nine, because yeah. um, they're just so chill. There's you know you haven't got to put any effort in. You can just lay. They're there. very familiar to you. You know the 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 nice uh, chill hey, games that don't require too much brain power because again you've you've played them so many times. And hey, if you've got Final Fantasy seven to nine on the Switch, even ten, yeah, yeah, play I mean, it in bed. Don't even move. Yeah, I. For the longest time, my Vita was my Final Fantasy machine. I, yeah. I had one to one all the way through to ten two on there. Me and you both, buddy. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, it, it is pretty. It was honestly, if you had given me that back when I was like eleven or twelve, I would have lost my mind. Yeah. What? All these Final yeah. Fantasies portable? Come on. Yeah, I know. I like, remember you um, to bring bring the PS One around everywhere yeah. and carry all your games with you. Because I went to uh, I went to Australia in 2014. Um, oh wow! Yeah, That's quite a trek. It, it was yeah, it was it was something. Um, obviously, the Switch wasn't out back then, so I decided to you know I've got some hours to kill on a plane to Australia. Mm -hmm. So I took my Vita with me, and I just played a bunch of Final Fantasy on the plane, literally the whole way there. Sounds and good to me. I was yeah. happy. I, I was in my element. So yeah. yeah. Definitely, Can't blame you on that one. I definitely praise them for for porting the Final Fantasies to you know 
consoles that you can just take out with you because mm. oh, it it works wonders. Um, so here's where I kind of picked up and got back into Final Fantasy again. Final Fantasy thirteen. Ah. Um. Yeah. Definitely got it for the PlayStation 3. Um, never, it took me, in fact, I r recall texting you, Mage, or messaging you. It may have been near New Year's. It was probably about, let's see if it's going to be two or three years ago now. But I sent you a screenshot and you was like, oh, what's that? And I was like, well, I've just beat Final Fantasy 13 for the first time. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And that was the PS3 version because we do have the PC version, but I've not played that yet. Uh, but I mm. beat it on its mm. original hardware about three years ago and i'll tell you what i'm a fan of 13 you like it don't yeah. shit on it because you know say what you want but i enjoyed that game a lot. i mean yeah it's very popular to crap on 13 yeah and uh, a lot of what people say i'm i can understand i i'm like yeah no if you don't like that that's absolutely fine um yeah. there are there are issues i have with it i haven't played it in a very long time and i've never actually beaten it in english i know but, yeah um i f 13 will always be special to me because of how excited i was for it to come out it got me into doing youtube yeah um and i just have many many fond memories of of that game playing it waiting for it to come out reading up on it you know going on forums and and just uh um but it does have its issues of course, and yeah. When I eventually replay it, I am interested to see how it holds up. If I've, if my opinion has changed over the years, but uh, honestly, it felt, it felt like maybe a more urgent Final Fantasy X. Okay. In terms of just the world and the way that you traversed it, you know, people say it's very linear. It is, yeah. but so was Final Fantasy X. The, Absolutely. It wasn't yeah. these big open world, like open zones to explore, which again is why I say, well, if, if you don't like 13, then you must like 12, because 12. 12 does all the things that you wanted 13 to do. And then they're like, oh, I've not played 12. And I'm like, well, there you go. maybe do that. <laughs> but, um, right. Yeah. Th 13, it, it, again, it's, it, it does what I love about Final Fantasy, it does something different. And if you don't like that, that's fair enough. There will be other Final Fantasies that you can enjoy, but which is why um, we've both said this before, which is is good why there is a Final Fantasy franchise because everybody has their own oh, personal yeah. favorite. Mean, you ask ten different people what their favorite one is, and they'll give you ten different answers. Absolutely. Um, would you say you know a lot about Thirteen? Um, I'd say I know a fair bit, but again, it's been so long since I've actually beaten it. Yeah, and the the story I'm not 100 percent on because again I I played it mostly in Japanese. Right. So uh, I know the gist. I did I did get very far in the English version, but for some reason just didn't finish it. Didn't finish it. Um, but no, I I've played it quite a bit, uh, especially in the f couple of years after it first came out. Yeah. Um. So. I um I I'm not an expert on it, but you know I'm looking forward to going back to it. Eventually. I am looking forward to you going back to it, and I say that because I've told myself I'm not playing it again until you start. Let's play <laughs> because I'm I'm intrigued to see uh you know stuff that you know that I probably don't because again it was it was the first time I'd beaten thirteen. I personally, and again my opinion, but thirteen was probably the hardest Final Fantasy for me. Uh, it. I died it a lot. Has some ridiculous difficulty spikes. Yeah, I certain bosses are incredibly tough. I, re and I remember being stuck on Bart uh, uh, Bartandalus yes. yes, for that's, so that's long. I'm thinking of in particular, um, and that's probably you know maybe not a good thing that there is such a steep difficulty spike. It would be yeah. nice if it was a more you know level kind of like a gradual curve, but it still gives you a lot of challenge and it's quite strategic even though it starts off very simple oh very very simple absolutely uh i think the battle i think even now if i went re uh, went back and replayed it the battle system is something i definitely need to learn a bit better because uh, for all i yeah. know i was probably doing stuff wrong uh it's yeah, just the, knowing the, when to change you know um it's, it's all about paradigms paradigms yeah it takes 
13's battle system takes away the focus on what individual attacks do yes and more your overall role in the battle yeah and i think that that's something that put a lot of people off because you know they like to micromanage every little thing that happens yeah whereas 13 is very much you trust the way you've set up your party right uh instead of like oh i'm gonna have such and such a body use fire now i'm gonna have them use this it's more a case of right you're you're the black mage you're gonna be firing off just a crap ton of magic yeah let's get this enemy's gauge broken you know um, <laughs> yeah so I, it's it's a different approach i suppose that was kind of well kind of similar for 12 as well but also with 12 you you still had the option to uh, obviously you'd set up yeah. your, you'd set up your gambits and you know your characters would uh, do those gambits that you set up but you could also go in and manually pick certain you could, stuff yeah. right yeah and uh if you wanted to do that more power to you but i mean that would just make it such a slog in my y opinion yeah. the gambit <laughs> system was perfect it gave you so much control but also made it so that the each fight wasn't ridiculously you know drawn out or uh gave you too much to do yes i think um 12 12's combat system honestly i would love to see return but oh yeah i don't know if it ever will because um, you were a big fan of the paradigm as well right the uh yeah and the I, leveling honestly, up system crystal yeah the, yeah the crystarium was fantastic it um it, it, I had no issues with it. I, I, it reminded me a little bit of the sphere grid, but yes, I can see that. Not yeah. quite the same level of uh, like freedom at first, and and that's one thing I will say about thirteen is it does take a while to really give you freedom, right? In terms of who you choose in your party, yeah, because your party's constantly control. getting split up, isn't it? And you're yeah, it's very for a good chunk of the game you're at the mercy of the story and i think that's why a lot of people don't like it as much because you can't just go around a town and talk to people and chill out right. or go do side quests it funnels you it does funnel you down a corridor um and then eventually gives you freedom towards the end of the game but yeah i i can i can understand why people don't like that aspect yeah i, I put i didn't mind it because I, I i like games that the are very story focused yes it keeps me invested Absolutely. whereas if you throw a big open world game at me i will go explore and i will lose track of what the story was right yeah so, yeah i can see it i yeah. get very overwhelmed with open world games i'm not gonna lie i I'm, yeah i mean ugh. which is why i thought 12 did the, got that balance really well yes it had a fantastic story that was you know very much a focus but also it did let you explore and side quest but just enough to where you don't completely forget what you're actually supposed to be doing. Yeah, and I like that it it was the, I like the zone aspect of 12. Mm. That it's you know, it's I guess you could kind of call it open world but not it, but it was just set into, you know, zones, so yeah, yeah, it's kind of like uh the way that Dragon Quest 11 did it where it's which I it's thought was great. Big maps connected to each other. Right, yeah, yeah. You know, um and yeah i just i i like that design i really I, do i thought it was brilliant um so here we go this is something i know that you're not too fond of but the sequels to 13 mm. uh 13 2 and 13 3 which uh 13 2 i've played uh, a tiny bit i've never beaten and 13 3 i've never played i have them uh, i've just never mm -hmm. gotten around to playing them um what was it that turned you off about those games uh it was the story Right. The story completely lost me, and I do want to give them another chance. Yeah. Because uh, so, 13.2 plays exactly the same as 13 in yes. terms of its combat system, which I liked in 13, and the recruiting of the monsters and stuff is cool. I just thought that Sarah as a protagonist was a lot weaker. Uh, Noel was okay, but yeah, just the overall story, the time travel aspect got very convoluted, and... I just couldn't really follow it. Yeah. Uh, and the, the same kind of thing with, with uh, Lightning Returns. I never got very far in that at all. Because that was very, very different. And because I didn't care about the story, I couldn't really get past it. And uh, I need to give them another chance. But they, I, I know a lot of people prefer 13-2 over 13. 
Oh, really? I've never heard a that A lot before. of people prefer 13-2 over 13. Interesting. You get a lot more freedom. You can go to a bunch of different places. Okay. Uh, but for me, I I just can't quite get my head around, like, what is the point of, <laughs> right. <laughs> of this right. story? Like, what what is it trying to do? Uh, so I will give it another chance eventually. One it, day. Because it went on... It, didn't it... Again, I've never finished 13-2, but didn't it start going into, like going into time and, and yeah there's a lot of time travel in uh, yeah in 13 2 and uh i i like time travel stuff when it's done well right and this didn't really it was just very confusing right uh which is a common thing with time travel you know you can really get yourself caught up in a lot of paradoxes and uh, different timelines and all that stuff and uh, I don't know I just remember being completely confused and it just felt not as fun as 13 so what do you think what's your opinion on um, with 13 I, I, I've heard a lot of people say that to really grasp the story of 13 is done through a lot of uh, like journal stuff in the main menu that you have to read up on to yeah. for you to fully understand what's going on in the story. Yeah, a lot, a lot of the backstory <clears throat> and world building of 13 is done in those kind of uh, text dumps. Yes. Which I'm not the biggest fan of. I'd rather that be sort of organically portrayed through the actual story that you see happen on screen. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, that that's something that I would say is not fantastic, but at the same time, you can go through the game without reading that stuff. Oh yeah, I and absolutely understand did. what's going on. <laughs> so it's it's kind of it's there if you want to really deep dive into it. But for people that aren't really too bothered, it's optional. So again, pros and cons. Absolutely. So here's a here's a you know a game that we've we've spoken about briefly already. Uh, Final Fantasy fourteen. Uh, I still need to play the goddamn thing. It's. Um, so good. I, I, so good. I've told myself I plan to start 14 this year. Um, yeah, what's mm -hmm. what's your opinions, Mage? What what do you, what can uh, what could a newcomer phenomenal. expect from Final Fantasy 14? A, new, a, new, a newcomer coming to Final Fantasy 14 will uh, can expect a little bit of a, a learning curve, but honestly, now the the current state that the game's in, there's so many really great tutorials. Yeah. The player base, I mean, for the majority, I mean, obviously, I can't generalize this too much, but the community of people that play that game, I've come across so many generous people willing to help out uh, and are very welcoming. And I think, honestly, it's it's a very, very easy game to get into. Yeah. E even though it becomes so huge and just quite overwhelmingly full of stuff to do at first it does ease you in very gently okay that's cool so i wouldn't worry about that too much it's really all i would say is do you have the time to invest in it right of course and yeah are you do you want to play more solo or do you want to be more social with it because you can do both right you can absolutely do both Yes, because uh, haven't they um, added a single player campaign thing now in 14? Well, they've they've added systems to where it basically lets you play it single player. Right, yeah. okay, that's cool. Which is cool. I like that. Um because not everyone has the time to, you know, plan groups with people or not everyone is comfortable playing with random people. Yeah. So of course. just having the option, in my opinion, is a good thing. Especially with how many people are playing it. Right, You're never going to yeah. struggle to find parties with people. It's just, it's unbelievable how popular that game has become, considering how it started back right. in 2010. Uh, I I was there. I was there day one in 1.0, 1 and I have many fond memories of those days, but looking back, it was a complete train wreck. Fucking hot mess. Uh <laughs> <laughs> it was it's it's such a different game nowadays they did honestly it's one of the best examples i can ever think of of like a developer or a company going you know what we fucked up we're gonna listen to the fans and we're gonna make it right yeah we're gonna need to um, start this from the ground up again yeah the, people deserve better than this 
You know, the the, the Final Fantasy brand yeah. deserves better than this. And it the 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 gamble making it from scratch again really paid off. Yeah, I mean, you know, we can't praise even though I haven't played 14, I follow, you know, Yoshi P quite a lot. Uh, yeah. with what he's oh, done. What a guy. Damn. What a guy. He cares about the community just as much as he does making he the does. game. He so. does. That's the difference, you know, get, getting people that are really passionate about the games that they work on, you'll you'll get a good product. Yeah. You know, because he, he is obviously a big fan of that genre uh, and the, the series as a whole. And what and I've... Um, yeah, what I, 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 caught, I caught something on Twitter not too long ago. That uh, Sagaguchi actually started playing 14 as well. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's and he loved it. it. Yeah, and he loved it. I, uh, I, I've been reading about that recently as well, um, and that that warms my heart so much that he's, even though he's not involved in making the games anymore, he still has a lot of love for them, and uh, the fact that he was playing through it and like playing with other people and uh, it's... Uh, experiencing it for the first time with us you know right, yeah like the community fans it's ah oh, yeah a lot of respect for him a lot of respect for him oh my god yeah i i definitely would love to start 14 this year uh again like you said i don't know if how much time i'm gonna have but i'd at least like yeah. to dip my toes in it you know get a feel for it because uh i've never never experienced 14 before so yeah and the good thing is you know it's um it's free up until like the uh I can't remember now, but you get the basically the whole the, the whole of the base game for free, right? Uh, without paying a subscription. Okay. And I think even the first expansion as well. So. Well, that's pretty neat, actually. You um, yeah, you can get a lot of game out of that, even, <laughs> even if you're only playing it like a couple of hours a week. Yeah. I think it's worth trying at least. All right. Well, yeah. Final Fantasy fourteen. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. You're gonna happen at some point. That's for sure. Um. Mm. Well, the most, you know, recent and current game at the moment, uh, Final Fantasy XV. Uh, a game that definitely went through a lot of issues. Very uh, troubled development. Yeah. Bad development, yeah. Uh, but all in all, I... Versus 13 and all that stuff. Yeah, uh, yeah. Was first versus 13, then changed mm -hmm. to 15. Uh, and again, I was quite late to 15. Um... Oh, okay. I'd probably say about a year late. Um, right, right. And I actually played it for the first time on Xbox. Because I used to have an Xbox Series S, I think. Or whatever the, the one before the new one is. The Xbox One. Yeah, that's it. Fucking yep. silly names. <laughs> the, the naming is <laughs> shocking. I know. Uh, yeah, I played it for the first time on Xbox. And I I enjoyed 15 for, for what it was. Um, mm. The yeah, only... 15 is very very ambitious i think the only um, issue i had with 15 is although yes it's open world i felt like a lot of it was you know yes you can go to towns and and you can there's some beautiful mm -hmm. locations but i think a lot of the open world was just too bland for me the, personally the thing yeah and again it's like people can say oh i want i want open world games and stuff but it's still you've still got to do it right i think yeah. 15 <sighs> had a beautiful world but was very empty yes uh, aside from the dungeons which were really cool really enjoyed find you know finding all the dungeons and stuff like that um but it was heavily bloated with generic kill this monster quest yes whereas final fantasy 12 had similar quests they were all unique and felt important Whereas these were just, there were so many of them. I just felt like you know? they were very repetitive for me. Yeah, there were so many of them. There were some really cool ones, but there was a lot of filler You'd as well. I'd feel like a lot of the hunts, they were just kind of the same enemies over again. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And that's that kind of that. I'm, not, I'm one. Uh, listen, I love side quests. Give me side quests all day. But oh, I, so, yeah, sure, sure. Um, but yeah, I just kind of, I was like, okay, we'll do these hunts, do these hunts. But I was like, this is just getting a bit too samey for me. I, I, mm. I'm, it's turning me off a bit. I'm getting a bit bored. Um, yeah, yeah. That's the only gripe I would have for 15. But overall, I love Noctis as a character. I love just the boys in general. Um, the, the story for 15 is probably the thing I like about it the most. Yeah. I I wasn't so keen on it, though, in the first half of the game. The first half of the game I thought was quite slow going in terms of the story, which makes sense because that's when you really have more freedom. Right. 
go and explore and do the side quests and stuff like that. But once a certain event happens at the halfway point of the game, or at least halfway in terms of chapters, I was completely hooked. I was yeah. like, oh my god, I need to know what happens now. And I love that feeling when you're playing a game and suddenly you're like, oh my god, I'm going to stay up all night and yeah. finish this I'm, game. I'm in this. I'm invested. Yeah, and uh, yeah, the, the second half story-wise was fantastic, although a lot more linear. Uh, again, it's like a game of two halves. You get so much freedom, but not much story. Then you get a ton of story and not much freedom. I'm okay with that. Yeah. Uh, I think overall, considering how troubled the development of 15 was, it's amazing how well it turned out. Absolutely, yeah. Um, and it's still a very fun game. The combat system, I enjoy. It isn't perfect, but it is uh, It is fun, to me at least. Yeah, I've, I've definitely got used to the combat in 15 over the years. Yeah, um, yeah. and just the characters, the relationships, I thought it was really well done. Yeah. Um, did you? I'm guessing you've played the Royal Edition. Um, I haven't actually. Oh. No, I've only ever played the the base, the base version, version. Was also updated a bunch. Yeah, I've played um, all of the DLC apart from the episode Arden one. Right. Uh, so, yeah, I've played a lot of fifteen. Which you love Arden as a villain. Am I right? I That's do. Great. He's my favorite villain right. in all of the Final Fantasy games. I know. I know that's a bold claim, but he is. I think he's, he's great. Yeah, I think he's he's great. Um, yeah. I know I know his voice actor was very very passionate about the character for Arden, um, mm. and he loved playing the role. Oh, so it's just so well played and just so well written and just visually, I thought he looked cool as well. Yeah, just everything about him, his role in the story, uh, just yes, that is <laughs> that is a good villain. A good Thank villain. you. Thank um, you because. Up until then, like 12's villain, I wasn't a huge fan of. 13's not a huge fan of. So to have a really strong Final Fantasy villain again was like, yes, thank it's, you. It was nice. Yeah. Um, what do you think of Kingsglaive Mage? I liked it. I yeah? liked it a lot. Uh, I've only seen it twice. I have only seen it twice as well. But I remember very much enjoying it. I'd played it, well, I'd watched it after I'd finished the game. Yeah. So, obviously, I knew kind of where the story was going to go, but seeing where it began, uh, and it's just, yeah, just a really fun time. What do you really think about time. Final Fantasy movies, by the way? I just want to get your opinion on that one, because obviously there, there's only three. Uh, yeah. Spirit, Spirits Within. Uh, yeah. Spirits Within yeah. was, <laughs> was not a Final Fantasy movie. <laughs> no. It was okay. It was fine, especially for the time. Visually, it looked amazing. Yeah. But it was not Final Fantasy. Uh, and obviously, we've talked about Advent Children. Um, yes. And Kingslave. Yeah, I thought it was really, really good. Some some cool sequences. And just added to Final Fantasy XV story really well. Would you like to see another Final Fantasy movie? Oh, yeah. I would absolutely love to. I don't know if which game I would like to see a yeah. movie from or maybe a new one down the lo down the road obviously no idea uh, but yeah I think they do they do the CGI action better than I think anyone yeah absolutely I agree the, uh, even in the games you know what I mean like, even in the games oh my yeah God. the, the cutscenes oh. the, the CGI is just fucking flawless square what it are you really doing is. <laughs> what's your trick yeah like man i mean it must cost a bomb to oh, do man, and take yeah. so long but like it's worth it because i remember reading up that when final fantasy 7 came out it was the most expensive video game being made at that time oh, i can imagine yeah um yeah all those fmvs crazy. yeah um so yeah movies uh 15 i uh, yeah again i enjoyed uh I don't have any qualms with it. I, I really like the game. So it's got its issues, but I mean, I still enjoyed it. So here we are, Mage. In well, we'll we'll go back to the the beginning in a sec. But here we are in 2022. We mm. have we have the announcement of Final Fantasy 16, which we don't know too much about right now. Uh, we've had one trailer so far. We've had a bit of news on online. I think in the Final yeah. Fantasy no, we know yeah, we've that had some updates on, you know, obviously COVID uh, affected the development quite a lot, so yeah, we haven't been able to get it out as quickly as they probably planned on doing. But um, 
excited to hear more about that for yeah. sure we Very um, excited. we know that the main protagonist is called clive uh i believe the female is called jill i think jill and, yeah. jill <laughs> and uh, i believe the boy that clive is supposed to be looking out for is called joshua josh yes um but i tell you what i haven't been hyped well apart from we'll get to remake but apart from that <laughs> yeah yeah um my hype levels for an a new Final Fantasy and especially a medieval one again. Uh, mm. dude, mm -hmm. I, I'm give it to me. I'm I'm in. Yeah. Day one. Give, give me a give me a proper medieval setting again and I am there. Uh, it looks it looks like it's gonna deliver on that front. Yeah. What do you think I mean, again, because we don't know too much about the game, but if you were to theorize, what do you think how do you think the battle system may play out? I think it is going to be heavily action right. RPG. Just like seven remake. Yeah. Uh, and 15. To what extent, I'm not too sure. We don't even know if there's going to be multiple party members yet. We know nothing, guys. We know nothing. Uh, we really know very little. <laughs> but I, I know that one of the guys that's worked on the Devil May Cry series yes. is involved. Yes. So if it is going to be more action-y, the action's probably going to be really, really good. Uh, it's just whether or not people... You know, because people always want, you know, I want Final Fantasy to go back to turn-based or whatever, and yet they still won't play other turn-based games that are coming out. Yep. So, I don't know. Um, <laughs> they, they just want Final Fantasy to be turn-based again, and they, that's fine, but it's, it's you know, I, I like them doing new things. I actually find the action combat system, as I get older, more fun. Yes. And more engaging. Oh yes. Than just We're... putting in commands in a menu, although I still enjoy those games as well. I just I want I don't know. I just I'm very open minded with it. Yeah, absolutely. Um I, but I, I like... do think it is going to be very action y. I like how the, the footage. I like how the combat's changed over the years and that it's it's each one is fresh, it's it does things different. Some some Final Fantasies, you know, will the battle systems are very similar, kind of, but there's bits and pieces that have changed over the years. Yeah. And, then, and then obviously we get into 12, which is more like MMO uh, battle system, and then we go to, say, 15, which is now more action. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, I'm excited to see what they do with, with 16. And, uh, yeah, I it mean, looks I, like... Will... It, looks, it looks like, Mage, finally, I think we're going to get a dark Final Fantasy game. Oh yeah, I mean they've always had dark elements to them, but this looks like it's going really, really hard into that direction, yeah. which I am fine with. I am fine with. Oh, I just can't wait for the day, man, when when uh, yeah. we can start oh, making that. videos on that bad boy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> which uh, yeah. I don't know if this is true. It's probably not true, but I keep seeing everywhere that, or oh, there was a rumor going around that Final Fantasy 16's release date, which I can't see it being because we haven't seen anything yet, but. There was a release date for the 16th of the 6th, which, scarily nah. enough, is my birthday. <laughs> so if that I mean, was the I case... I would love it to happen, but they would be marketing the hell out of it if yeah. that was the case. I was like, if this game comes out on my birthday, I'm going to lose my shit. <laughs> yeah, no, I'd, um, I wouldn't get your hopes up. No. I, mean, I would love it, but yeah. Unless they announce that it's coming out like tomorrow on that date, <laughs> yeah, I, I don't see it happening, but... When do you think we will see some news? Do you think it will be just be a random drop, or do you think it will be a, like a big E3 uh, thing? Well, E3 is not happening this year. So, oh, okay. Uh, that's been cancelled. That. So I think Square will just have their own event. They'll right. probably hold a digital event, some sort of showcase, yeah. Uh, and yeah, we'll get some news then. I, I think it will be soon. I think it will be next month. Come on, just give it to me. Give it to me. Something. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, th I think it'll be next month. Otherwise, we're getting closer to summer, and they yeah. said that it would be in the spring. So, uh, of course, delays do happen, but yeah. I imagine we'll get at least an update of some description next month. So, yeah, I mean, there's not really too much we can say on 16 because we don't know no. a lot about it. But all I all I know is I want it and I want it now. Yes, please, Square. <laughs> um, hit me up. G give me give me a copy right now. Give, give him a copy. Um, so here's something else I'm actually uh, interested in and excited for. I'm not really much of a mobile game player myself, but uh, Final Fantasy VII Ever Crisis, uh, which we're supposed to hear oh, something yeah. about this year, but so far we haven't. I don't know what... Isn't that the kind of like... 
a mobile remake based of... version of all of the games right yeah uh the whole the whole compilation the whole comp which sounds mental to me yeah. i don't know how they're gonna do that but i mean if people didn't like the the direction of the the remake then maybe that would be something for them right you know, more more in line with the the original in terms of gameplay but uh i'm not really a mobile gamer so yeah again me neither do a console i probably won't play it but it'd be cool to see how that turns out. Yeah, which is going to be interesting because, well, first of all, if you don't know too much about uh, uh, Ever Crisis, again, yes, it's a it's a mobile game. It's based on the uh, original Final Fantasy VII as well as its compilation. So you've got stuff like Dirge of Cerberus, you've got Crisis Core, even Advent Children, which was a movie, uh, yeah, is being yeah. made into a game, which is insane. Uh, before yeah, it just sounds so ambitious, I have no idea how they're going to do it. Yeah, unless it's heavily condensed, like... right? Yeah, which I, I can see probably is the case. Yeah. Uh, you've got Before Crisis, which we never actually got over here. Um, no. It was a Japanese game only, uh, so that's interesting. Uh, and I think I've covered it. Oh, I think I said Crisis Core, right? Um, but yeah, the, the whole compilation is being done. Uh, I think we got the release, a trailer for it last year. Maybe the beginning of last year, actually, or mid-June of last year. Mm. And we're supposed to hear some news about it this year, but I don't know when that will be. Maybe again, Square, like Major said, Square will probably do their own kind of conference thing, yeah, and show it off there. Uh, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. I'd like to check it out. Uh, Final Fantasy VII: The First Soldier, eh, not my kind of thing. Yeah, no thanks. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not. Again, it's it's on mobile and it's also like battle royale. I have no real interest. Yeah, I'll skip that one. As much of a FF7 fan as I am, uh, no thank you. Um, yeah. yeah. Right, Mage, are you ready? Are you ready to... Well, let's actually, no. Let's get into... Let's go back again. Let's go Final Fantasy 1 through 3. When did you first play the very, very uh, one, one beginning? 1 and 2, I played not long after I played, like, 4, 5, and 6. Yes. Yeah. it was uh, 1 and 2 were bundled together on PS1 in the Final Fantasy Origins uh, collection, which I picked up and, yeah, played, played a lot of both of them um more one than two yes but uh final fantasy 3 i didn't get because it was never really released in the west until uh the ds version which was oh. i think 2007 2008 something like that damn what a, what a time gap <laughs> like yeah to yeah, get final so... fantasy 3 jesus yeah and now obviously we've just recently had the pixel remasters yes um which is more in line with the original SNES or you know Japanese release of three, but the three the three uh, the DS version yes. of three, I played and I loved. I thought it was really good. It was kind of very reminiscent of five, but just a more kind of basic watered down version. version. Yeah, uh, with its job system and stuff like that. So uh, yeah, I mean eventually I'm gonna do that uh, as a series. You heard it here, folks. Day. Yeah, it's gonna happen. Um, yeah, I finished Final Fantasy 1 for the first time this year uh, through the Pixel Remaster. And I'll tell ah, you, very nice. And I'll tell you what, uh, considering it's the first Final Fantasy in the series, you know, uh, Major said this before, but they didn't quite, you know, they hadn't quite established yet what Final Fantasy was as a, you know, as a, no, no, as a thing. It's, it's very bare bones compared to the later games, but you can see the humble beginnings oh, of yeah. so many different elements. You know, we didn't have Chocobos. I don't think, I don't think there were summons in one no no I mean, um, uh, bah bahamut was in it but he wasn't the summon he was just like an npc he was yeah i remember doing that now actually uh but i'll tell you what for the bare bones that one was i actually really enjoyed final fantasy one um a lot a very grind heavy though i will say that um, oh yeah i mean games of that era all were uh i remember i recently played through dragon quest one and two and they were just the same just very grindy yeah. Oh, we got Festival of the Hunt playing. This is what a tune this nice. is, by the way. <laughs> Final tune. Fantasy Nine. Um, yeah, and then so I beat one, and I decided to go and play two. And I was actually watching your playthrough at the same time. Well, you live streamed it, okay. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, and yeah, it took me a while to get to grips with that uh, that system. Two, two is is uh, a failed experiment. Two started the trend of, of Final Fantasy being, you know, changing things up from game to game, but they didn't quite nail it with this one. Yeah. Two, two has great music. It has 
a wonderful world and compared to one it actually has characters which yes. is nice yes there's actually a story there yeah but in terms of the way that the game is structured and it's uh, balancing and it's progression system not the best but that's where chocobo's got introduced right Final Fantasy yeah II? chocobo's uh sid sid was it um, yeah yeah so yeah uh dragoons actually i think oh well. yeah dragoons so yeah it's uh two two is important for the series but it was also kind of a bit of a letdown yeah which is a shame um but i guess they were still learning at that point you know exactly, the, the exactly. second final fantasy uh final fantasy 3 uh i can't really talk about that too much because i've not played it um what's your opinion on three yeah i really like three really <clears throat> like three it's got one of my favorite soundtracks actually in the whole series yeah it's got it's music i don't know why i just i was like wow this is really 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 good i've heard that the opening to three as well is really good like a lot of people mm. really enjoy the opening to final fantasy three yeah, the, I mean, the DS version especially had some really nice CG cutscenes added, and uh, yeah, just the reworked soundtrack uh, was really. I mean, for the DS, it sounded fantastic, but. Um, oh, yeah. No, it was. It, three, 3 is very, very, very good. Uh, I need to I need to play it again, because I've only beaten it once, so. I need to revisit it. that. <laughs> no, you will one day, maybe. I will, I will. I, 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 you gotta a, get around to all of them. In a while, yeah, that's my goal. Listen, before I snuff it, I don't need to play yeah, all these games. Be all the FFs. Um, but I, I'm kind of glad that there's still Final Fantasies I haven't played because there's more, you know, going in blind yeah, to there's experience. More to look to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, okay, so we've kind of covered most of them. Let's get into the the big one, the one that. Mm. Uh, Oh man, <laughs> you're quite a fan of. Oh yeah, I've played it a few times. Um, quite a few. <laughs> um, I, I I I know, and that sounds ridiculous, but I can't tell you how much. Not just the game means to me, you know, as well as the original, but I don't know. This game does something that I just enjoy a lot. Uh, of mm -hmm. course, we're talking about Final Fantasy VII remake, um, which released in 2020, which is crazy. It's two years old already. I know. I know. Um. I have very, you know, I, I remember all of us being excited, not just, you know, me and Mage, but the community. Um, oh, everyone was hyped yeah, for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> someone got their copy early. <laughs> not <laughs> salty about that at all. No, no, um, no. I was quite lucky with that. And the annoying thing is, I was like, you know what? I'm going to I'm gonna get it on the PlayStation Store. Because if COVID's hit, and... Uh, oh, talking of Final Fantasy VII, uh, the day Midgar stood still, soundtrack is playing... Um, oh, very nice. I thought, oh yeah, if but people are probably not going to get theirs delivered in time, so I'll just get it digitally. <laughs> but it turns mm. out they shipped them all early. <laughs> they did. So and I was the one who got messed up. <laughs> yeah. Um, but, oh man, dude, yeah, let's, what, what an experience though. Let's talk about uh, Final Fantasy we, VII remake because yeah, I mean, it had been we had been asking for it for years, hadn't we? Ever since that initial tech demo on the PS3 right. where they showed off. Um, and there was always rumors of it happening, and they always said, uh, we'll make it once we've made a Final Fantasy that uh, surpasses, surpasses the original. It. Yeah. And uh, I think, I don't know I don't know whether that's really happened, but I think they just realized, you know what, now's the time. Now's the time, because if we don't and, do uh, it now, we're never going to do it, so. Yeah, and it, it, it had its issues with the development, you know. It, yeah. It had a few hitches with, uh, I think they've, they started off with one team doing it and then they took that team off yeah they scrapped it yeah basically you had to start from scratch so which is why it took five years guys that's why we waited yeah, for five yeah, years it was, it was announced i mean that announcement trailer still gives me goosebumps oh yeah absolutely yeah every time i played the original ff7 like on the ps5 it obviously has the special movie which is the re release trailer that we got yeah, yeah. And just seeing how the game looked then, like what they were showing oh, off then, yeah, very different. to what we've got now, it's like, man, they really mm. did change a lot of stuff. Yeah. Which For is why better, which is opinion. why I like following development with stuff like that, because I yeah, like seeing yeah. the, the, the what was and what is now. So, mm. so, yeah, 2015 is when we it got announced, and then, God damn, we didn't get nothing for at least two or three years. We didn't hear yeah, nothing. Yeah. It was like, is this game still going to be made as if they scrapped it what's happening 
Yeah, it was it, it was, was worrying. pretty torturous for a while, <laughs> and then and then we finally got you know new trailers and new footage, and I I mean I know you love the game so much, Jay. Oh. I I probably I, I'd say I enjoyed it just as much. Yeah. Um, the thing that surprised me the most about it was how good the combat system ended up being. Yeah, thank you for that because. Because I know a lot of people were worried, you know, from the footage that they showed off initially, that you know it's oh, it's just like Kingdom Hearts, or it's yeah. it's very different, it's all actiony and stuff. But the way that they blended action with more traditional menu-based combat, yeah. I thought was perfect. I got honestly it right. one of the best combat systems ever. Yeah, uh, in my opinion, I agree. The only issue is the camera. Yes, doesn't always know what to do. Goddamn camera. But you know, other than that, I can't fault it, and uh, I cannot wait to see what they do with uh, part two. Oh, I don't know about you, but in the Yuffie DLC, um, I feel like they they kind of fixed some of the camera camera issues there. Yeah, yeah, I, I remember having less issues with it, um, and also the fact that they added like joint attacks with characters. Oh my God. I hope that makes its way to part two. I'm sure it will. Man, can we just talk about that, like? Yeah. Can you imagine the combinations we're going to be able to do with... Yeah, I mean... Jesus oh, Christ. <laughs> I, I am very, very, very excited. Uh, and just, But as a whole, the remake was faithful to the original in a lot of ways. Obviously, they're doing some crazy stuff with the story. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You can read... You can. We're not going to go into it here because we'd be here like, for oh, hours. Oh, yeah, I could talk for hours about this. Um but they, they did the characters justice, they did the world justice, and it while, yes, it owes a lot to the original, I think it still stands up on its own as just a great game. Yeah. Even if it's not the whole story, a lot of people complain about that, you know, it's, it's, it's not the full game, though. Well, it, it is a full game. It's just a 40-hour plus yet. RPG still. Yeah, like, I put, I think, I think I beat it, in about 50 hours or so, which yeah. I don't know about you, but that's that's a lot of game. That's a lot, that's that is a lot, a lot of, game. of game. And I think and, they, uh, yeah. they managed to pack a lot into Midgar. You know, I, they think, did. I think there's a decent there's a decent amount, of, there's just the amount of, uh, amount of side quests. All right, they might not, might not be the best. Some of them are good. I enjoyed some of them. Some of them are good. Um, I will say, yeah, there's, there's probably a little bit of filler here and there, but I just, I, I couldn't get enough of that game. I no, could not get enough of it. Oh. I want to play it now. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm just it's kidding. So good. <laughs> oh, I probably would though. That's the thing. Uh, yeah, yeah uh, definitely. Like the tenth time. Yeah, honestly, it wouldn't surprise me. It's been the tenth time. Um, yeah, combat is a big one for me. I it's just so it's so fun. It's so satisfying. Just mm. the, the combination. And strategic at and, the same time. Yes. It's not just you can't just button mash. Right. You can't. It's not going to work. <laughs> Because what I loved about your your part one of remake was uh, how surprised and how excited you were about the thought of fighting the scorpion sent oh sorry the guard scorpion or scorpion sentinels yep. it is in the remake uh, but just the fact of when he uses tau laser there is there is cover you have to get yep. behind cover you have to hide you have to be very use strategic. your environment you know uh, watch out for enemy tells and uh, uh, you really do have to think about what you're doing. Even that first boss, you know, I, I know so many people found that difficult. Yeah, I, I did when I first, even when I played the demo, yeah, I was like, Jesus Christ. Same, but... because, because, you know, you play the original, you just have to press the X button. <laughs> yeah, use bolt and, just, and attack with Barrett and you're, you're, you're you good. You don't attack when it's tails up. Yeah. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> yeah. Um, and that fight's over in, you know, minutes. Oh, yeah. So, very, very different. And again, that's why I will always advocate that yeah, turn-based is good. Don't get me wrong. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, like... Just because it isn't turn-based doesn't mean it's not strate uh, strategic. Absolutely. Um, oh, yeah, they, they nailed it. They nailed it. They absolutely combat. nailed it. And I think um, <laughs> what I loved about playing the demo as well... Oh, do, you, do you remember that whole fiasco as well? It's like, oh... Uh, we reckon they're going to drop the demo. They're going to drop... Like, there was so many, like... Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, they're going to drop the demo it. on New Year's Eve or something stupid like that. And then it didn't happen. Oh, they're going to drop the demo on this date. No, it didn't happen. And yeah. then they... I think they had dropped the... Didn't they drop the demo on the original release date? Because obviously the game got delayed, so... Uh, <clears> I think it was maybe just a little bit before that. I can't remember. Yeah. But, um, um, but yeah, I mean... 
god, everyone was streaming that. Yeah. Like, and just, I, I must have played that demo at least 20 times. Oh, yeah, me too. Shocker, I know. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but uh, I definitely... Because I, I just, I, I just loved enjoying fighting the uh, the guard scorpion just over and over again, and I thought, dude, this is the first boss. Like, yeah, what? can you imagine what like what's the rest the of the bosses boss going to be? be like? And again, the the bosses in the remake, every single boss was fantastic. Yes, hands down, absolutely, and felt different to each other. As very well. different. Very yeah. There's different strategic elements to each boss. Um, mm -hmm. I, for instance, the the crab warden that you fight and on the way oh, to yeah. uh, sector five, I liked because there was multiple parts to that boss that you had to take mm -hmm. down. That was a lot of mm -hmm. fun. Um, Dodging the, like the electricity on the floor. Yeah, and, uh, uh, yeah, watching yeah. out for the lightning. Yeah, that was pretty cool. Um, and a lot of new bosses. Again, the crab warden was new. That was never in the original. Uh, no, and also turning regular enemies into bosses. Yes, how cool was that? Like, the hell house oh my god damn that kicked my ass the first time <laughs> I, I i'm very surprised i beat it on my first try yeah you was, did better than me buddy jesus going um yeah the hell house the sauropede which is you know the yeah, fish yeah. enemy that's in the shinra building that was pretty cool um yeah boss lights definitely a highlight for me um yeah i gotta yeah. give props to the voice cast though jesus christ oh Dude, they're all so good. Um, all of them amazing. Listen, as much as I love the Advent Children cast, I think they're great. They're fantastic. Steve Burton done a great job as Cloud, but Cody oh, Christian, sure, sure. Cody Christian, yeah. man, knocked it out of the park for me. I think he's. Yeah, I mean, I would probably say these voices and performances in the remake are probably the definitive version for me yeah. of these characters. Absolutely. Um, uh, Barrett was was my favourite, hands down. Oh, we love John Eric, Eric Bentley, who I've spoken to, which is crazy, on Twitter that a few times. Mental. Um, yeah. He's had a chat with me. Uh, great guy. Um, he did a great job. He did. He, really a, did. he did an amazing job, which is gets me excited for you know because Barrett Barrett goes through some stuff. Oh, he's got he's got some story later on. stuff coming up. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, actually one of them I literally recorded yesterday uh, from the original. Nice. Um, so yeah, he, he's going to go through some stuff. Um, I'm excited to learn, well, obviously more about Red 13 because obviously, you know, he mm -hmm. comes in late in the remake. He comes in to the later portion of the game, which unfortunately was unfortunate. You know, we didn't get to control him and stuff, but I understand why. Yeah, I can understand why they didn't put in the effort to make him controllable for just a, such a short, short part of the period, game. Yeah. Uh, but we have that to look forward to in part two. Whoa. Oh. And Can't and and of course, you know, characters that haven't been introduced yet. Um, mm. There's a few. Um, there are a few, yeah. And to see, uh, I think, to see Yuffie finally meet up with the gang and see how they all it, interact. Again, they did a great job with Yuffie in the DLC. She's going to fit right in with the cast. Yeah, I can already tell. And I think so. Having that Yuffie DLC and having that kind of story arc for her kind of makes mm. her character a lot more. Like she's got a fucking she's got a reason now to oh yeah to want to join no, she's Cloud in the gang. Random person you find in a forest. Right. Yeah. Yeah. She she is well invested in the story now and uh, fleshed out much more too. So. Do you, do you think Sonon is going to make a return after what um, we saw? I wouldn't be surprised. Because what I am wondering, and I've I've wondered this for a long time. Like I've I. I think about like, oh my god, what the remake's going to look like in, in this area or, or, or in, in this location. I think they might change it though. I, I don't know if they... Will we go back to Midgar? Because obviously in the original we do at some point. Yeah. Um, I think I think they've hmm, got to really. Yeah, and, and that whole Sonon thing, that's, that's what's making me think it. Like something, if we go back to Midgar, something big has yeah, got to happen and there's, there. Yeah, there's obviously the whole uh, thing with... Something I'm not too familiar with because I've not really played Dirge of Cerberus, but a lot of the Vincent, uh, yeah, stuff going on with um, some new characters that were not in the original. Of course, yes, um, like Vice and all them. So, yeah, I, I I reckon they've got to. But that's you know Midgar is a huge part of the end of the game. So, what do you think? Um... Well, do you, th do, you do you think it could be open world? 
do you think with the PS5 technology and this whole Unreal Engine stuff, do you think... Because I've read in an, uh, an interview that they want to get the most out of the PS5 it, like as much as they yeah, can get out of the I... PS5. The, the question is whether or not Part 2 is going to be on PS4 as well. Like, right. Is it going to be multi-gen? Um, I don't think it is going to be open world as in like an Elden Ring or a you know, Breath of the Wild kind of thing. Right. I think it's probably going to be more huge zones. Again. Okay. Like, I'd be okay with that. Like a Dragon Quest? If they want to do it open world, fine, but I would want them to have things like, uh, you know, um, proper exploration on Chocobo, things like that. Yes. Um, Airships eventually. Oh, God, can you imagine? <laughs> I, I don't know oh. if we're going to be able to fly around in an airship at some point i don't know how, i really don't know what where they're gonna go with that but mm. i think you've got to have a real sense of scale to right. the world uh like you know around calm going to the gold saucer yes the, um, through the, the the mountains and and stuff like that so because you yeah you really have got to think about scale right gold exactly. Saucer. let's be honest gold saucer not a tiny place uh, no, 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 no. A no. huge, you know, <laughs> amusement park. Uh, even places like Junon. I said this in my playthrough, but the scale of Junon, I think it's going to yeah, be it's quite massive. big. It's fucking massive. Um, the, the, my best guesstimate as to how FF7 Part 2 will look is kind of like 15's world. Right. Yeah. But hopefully more, you know, filled out and with more things to do, to do and see. Yeah, yeah, I could see that, yeah, absolutely. Where would you... I mean, we don't know how this is going to work, because, again, we don't know too... I know that they've said they want to show something of Part 2 this year. Yeah. Whatever that is, we don't know. Uh, but where would you... Where do you think Part 2 could possibly end, or where would you like to see My Part 2 end? My perfect ending point for Part 2 would be... Aerith. Right, okay, yeah. Uh, that, that's where I would end it. Uh, I, th I and think then that makes lead sense. into part three with the rest of the story. Which is interesting, yeah. because if they, if they did do it in three parts, which I assume they're going to, um, it's kind of like... Three parts would make sense. It's kind of like think. the original, if you think about it. Yeah, yeah three, three discs. discs. Three yeah. parts, that would make the most sense. Yeah, um, I, I would... I would bet a lot of money that that would be the case. Because the thing is, with how long each part takes to make, I don't think they want to be making it for the next 20 years. No, and as we know, when before Remake came out, we got the news that they'd already started development on Part 2, which was November of 2019. Yeah, and obviously, COVID won't have helped. No. So, I think, um, I, I think three parts makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, well, yeah, if you think about the 13 trilogy, that's 13, uh, three parts, and they've, they've never done any more than that with a, with a series. So, yeah. No, I, I think if you're getting into part four and part five, that's too much. <laughs> you're like, all oh, right, this is getting a bit ridiculous too now. Too much. <laughs> three parts, a trilogy, I'm okay with that. Yeah. Um, oh, man. Because yeah. that, that means that each part will be substantial as well. Absolutely. You know? So, I'm, I would be very okay with that. And I feel like with part two, quote unquote open world you know whatever there's i think they, they have more time to to figure out like more side quests and stuff because it's oh more... yeah yeah it's gonna be way more open because you, you right. think about it in the original midgar there's not really much to do no um but with with uh, a setting you know outside of midgar you can do so much more oh yeah yeah, you know, in terms of just giving you freedom to go and explore and see whatever you want to see and do side quests and find hidden summons and all oh, sorts of things. Yes, more of that, please. That's what that's yeah, what I like. That'd be pretty cool. You have to go to, and I love, I've heard a lot of people say they they do, they would prefer it if um if the summons weren't you know VR in the next one, yeah. which makes sense. But I get yeah, why they I... are VR in Midgar because there's not going to be a lot of places that <laughs> summons are just hanging out, by the way, in Midgar. No, no, I, I'd still prefer it to be, uh, you know, you just stumble across. Even if it's just finding the materia in a really cool place. Yeah, right. You That'd know, really like cool. like in the original. 
uh, I, I'd be okay with that. Um, yeah. Oh, man. Just so much to look forward to. And, and, and let's be honest, Square Enix, uh, they're fucking on it this year. There's a lot of stuff that they're oh, working yeah, on. Yeah, they've got a lot of stuff in the pipeline. Um, I... <laughs> it's quite overwhelming when you think about how many games they, they're putting out. Um, Mage, what is your favourite remake boss fight, would you say? Oh, my favourite remake boss fight. I would have to go with either... I mean, the, the Scorpion was really great, just yes. as a first introduction to the, the way bosses are in that game. I would say it's got to be either Air Buster. Mm hmm. Yes. Um, mostly just because of the music. Oh my honest. God, that soundtrack, though. <laughs> Fucking hell. Your reaction was uh, great. I loved it. <laughs> I was like, yes, <laughs> this is the soundtrack we needed. Yeah. Um, I really liked the Genova fight. Yes, that's probably my favorite fight. Yeah, um, that was really cool. Again, because it was new as well. Like, that's not in the original and, so. it, and it got me with the soundtrack because I thought okay oh. the, the fight the boss fight starts and it's very like uh, music's, music's great so far this yeah. is great you very know, choir new, new sounds of the theme and then third third phase and oh you, my god it's the yeah. original music <laughs> yeah. oh my god I, I am crying you're like have you um, ever been so hyped for a fight let's go yeah I know right oh and again so props to yeah, the I'd probably go with either of those two yeah props to the soundtrack um I, I, I think as soon as you're in a boss fight, the, it's the music, man, it carries you, and you, you, you're hyped for mm. that fight, and you're like, let's just fucking go. Let's do it. Um, yeah, the soundtrack for the remake as a whole was so well done. And uh, I got a lot of... Uh, I don't know about you, but I got a lot of um, Final Fantasy Thirteen vibes uh, sometimes with the soundtrack. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think, um, I think the composer of Thirteen did work on it. So ah, that makes sense. That yeah. makes sense. A lot of elements yeah. in there. Um. Okay. Well, Mage, what is your? Let's. I know your 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 opinion changes a lot. I know you've said this, but it what does, is? Yeah. What what would be your top three? Uh, Final Fantasies. Top three. Uh, Final Fantasy Nine. Of course. Number one. Number two. Final Fantasy Ten. Okay. And number three. This is this is where it gets difficult. Uh it's probably either gonna be. Seven, eight, or I'm kind of not including the online ones, even though I probably should do. Okay. But they're very different, so I'd probably say I'd probably say maybe twelve as well. Yeah, Fuck. I just can't choose. I oh, know it's, so it's hard. <laughs> yeah, it is hard. But nine, nine, and ten are definitely my top two. Yeah, without a doubt. Yeah. Um. Well, I think. I think we'll end this here. Uh, we've had a pretty, pretty good discussion. I've I've actually really enjoyed this. It's get, it's, no, good. it's been good. Yeah, yeah. Thanks for having me. Th thanks to all you J J Jammer fans out there for uh, listening to me for however long you have. Yes, uh, and listening to me for this long because I know that's that's painful. Um, but uh, yeah, honestly, mate, it's been a pleasure. I always love talking Final Fantasy with you, whether it's here or it's you know off 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 screen. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, always a pleasure, indeed. And uh, yeah, there's there's more Final Fantasy to come. Uh, both. Yeah, let's let's hope for some news soon. But yeah, uh, as as far as you know, stuff that Square's bringing out on my channel, on Major's channel, you know, we're we're we're, we're Final Fantasy nerds. As, we got uh, it covered. Yeah, we got gotcha. you. Um, so yeah, if you're interested in more Final Fantasy, like I say, Major's playing Final Fantasy V at the moment. Um, I'm doing Seven Original. Mm -hmm. um, I think I'm going to do... I think I've made the choice to do... Well, I need to play it because I haven't played it and it's about freaking time. I want to do Crisis Core after 7 original. Oh, yeah. Crisis Core is great. Because I need to... You know, I know what happens at the end of Crisis Core because, you know, I've played the original 7. I kind of get mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, but Zack, everything in between that, how Zack meets Cloud, what Zack goes through, I have absolutely no idea what happens yeah, there. Yeah. You've got you've got a journey ahead of you. It's brilliant. So it's I'm really good. very, very excited to do that very soon. Uh, Mage, where can people find you? as well as YouTube. Uh, they can find me on Twitch, uh, MageMasher22 on Twitch. I stream uh, pretty sporadically. I don't really have a schedule, but I, I try to stream at least a couple times a week, if not uh, like on a Sunday or something as well. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, and also, I am on Twitter. He is uh, on Twitter. MageMasher22, again. Just find me on there, and uh, I talk crap on there too. So... <laughs> Lots of crap for everybody. Let's let's go. There's so much, so much crap from my mouth. Yes, it's 
<laughs> it's free. <laughs> uh yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you've enjoyed today's video i wanted to do something like this for a long time and i've wanted to collab with mage for for so long uh obviously we'd love yeah, to do yeah. a let's play of some sort but we're just so you know both of us are so busy with projects of our yeah, own stuff like that's hard to coordinate but a one-off thing like this is you know quite easy to do and uh that was a lot of fun yeah um i'm, I'm glad to to have had you join me and talk about your experiences with Final Fantasy and uh, where the series also yeah let's let's that's that is a question I nearly forgot before we go I just want to ask mm -hmm. Mage what um what would you like to see let's say let's say different for an upcoming Final Fantasy what would be your what would be your kind of perfect all round mm. a Final Fantasy that would be like yep this is the one uh well i mean i would i would like to see maybe a return to like when we're already getting medieval stuff we know that was 16 yes i would like to maybe see a return to you know like uh a job system again okay that'd be nice like they did with 12 but like a you know a completely different modern take on it yeah i think i think that's that would be the thing i want i would want most out of a new Final Fantasy uh, single player, that is, is, yeah, a, is yeah. a new job system. Yeah. And uh, one more question, Mage. What, uh, for anybody who's new to Final Fantasy, obviously we've played a bunch of them, but if there's anybody new uh, and wants to get into the series, uh, which, personally, would you recommend a, a good Ooh. starter Final Fantasy good, to play? Uh, a good start of Final Fantasy. I would start where I started, which is 10. Okay, I agree. I, I absolutely agree. Yeah I, yeah, I would. I can only speak from experience. Ten is what got me hooked, and uh, while its intro is very weird, yeah. I think in terms of just how it plays, will ease you very nicely into the series. And uh, yeah, I, I would go with ten. Yeah, I also think if you're if you're worried about battle systems in other FFs, I think again, like Mage said, ten is a perfect start uh because you can take your time you don't have yeah, to it's completely turn-based turn -based, you have no yeah. time pressures whatsoever so yeah so yeah final fantasy 10 go check it out it's it's everywhere it's on steam it's on ps4 it's on yeah it's, you can play everywhere. It on all sorts of platforms <laughs> <laughs> there's there's not enough final fantasy so um play it on the end gauge yeah a good one. <laughs> yeah um all right well thank you so much mage uh no worries thank you for having me uh, i hope we get to do something else in the future of course but this was absolutely a ton of fun again please guys i'm going to link mage's channel at the end of the video you'll see it pop up on the screen somewhere uh go check him out um again he doesn't just do final fantasy stuff he's a variety gamer he's got a bunch of stuff going on right now and he's you know he's been he's been doing this youtube business for a few years now yeah very very <laughs> long time uh but again thank you so much we appreciate you um make sure to Cheers, take man. make sure to take care of yourselves be safe be healthy all that good stuff and we'll catch you in the next video take care guys have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.